The bus screeched to a halt, its brakes whining in protest as it came to a stop. It spat me out onto the curb, almost as if it couldn't wait to be rid of me. The city hit me like a wall of noise and smells. Car horns blared incessantly, each one competing for dominance in the chaotic symphony of urban life. A thousand conversations buzzed around me, each one a fragment of a story I would never know. The air was thick with the hum of voices, a constant background noise that seemed to vibrate through my very bones. I felt a rush of excitement, quickly followed by a wave of nausea. The sheer scale of the city was overwhelming, a stark contrast to the quiet life I had left behind. What the hell had I gotten myself into? The thought echoed in my mind, a mix of fear and anticipation. I had left everything I knew behind for this. Back home the air was clean, untainted by the pollutants that seemed to hang in the city air like an invisible fog. It smelled like pine needles and freshly cut hay, a scent that was both comforting and familiar. Here, the air was thick with exhaust fumes and the greasy aroma of street food. It was a sensory overload, each smell fighting for attention. I took a deep breath and coughed, the unfamiliar air burning my lungs. It was a harsh reminder that I was far from home. This was going to take some getting used to. The city was a beast of its own, and I was just a small, insignificant part of it. I hoisted my backpack onto my shoulder, feeling the weight of it settle against my back. It was a comforting weight, a reminder of the journey I had undertaken. It held all my worldly possessions, everything I had deemed important enough to bring with me, everything I needed for a fresh start, clothes, a few books, some personal mementos. It wasn't much, but it was enough. At least I hoped it did. I had left behind the familiar for the unknown, and I could only hope that I had made the right choice. I didn't know a soul in this city. It was a daunting thought, but also an exhilarating one. A chance to reinvent myself, to start anew. But I had a dream, and that was enough. A dream of making it in this vast, sprawling metropolis. A dream of finding my place in the world. And as I took my first steps into the city, I knew that no matter what, I was ready to chase that dream. Finding a place to live was a nightmare. Every apartment I looked at was either too expensive or too small, or both. I was used to wide open spaces, not cramped little boxes. Back home, I had a whole house to myself. Here, I was lucky to find a room with a window. After weeks of searching, I finally found a place. It was a tiny, dingy room in a rundown building. But it was cheap, and it had a roof. It would have to do. I unpacked my meager belongings, a few clothes, some books, a picture of my family. It wasn't much, but it was home. At least it was my home for now. I sat down on the edge of the bed and looked around. It wasn't much, but it was a start. The city never slept. That much was clear. Back home, the nights were quiet, peaceful. Here, the streets were alive with activity, even at three in the morning. Music blared from bars, taxis honked, people shouted to be heard over the din. It was overwhelming at first, the constant noise, the crowds, the pace of life. It was like being caught in a whirlwind. But slowly, I started to adjust. I learned to navigate the subway system. I found a few quiet cafes where I could escape the chaos. I even started to enjoy the energy of the city. There was a pulse here, a rhythm that was impossible to ignore. It was exhilarating and exhausting all at once. But I was starting to find my place in it. I feel nauseous, believe me. Finding Never a job was tough. A Competition was fierce. Easy. I went to countless hard, interviews, handed to out resumes it. until my hand cramped, but no one seemed interested in a country boy with no city skills. I took odd jobs to make ends meet. Washing dishes, waiting tables, handing out flyers, anything to pay the rent. It was humbling, but it was honest work, and I learned a lot. I learned how to deal with difficult customers, how to work long hours on my feet, how to survive in the concrete jungle. It wasn't glamorous, but it was building character. The city forced me to adapt, to learn new skills. I enrolled in a computer class, spent hours in the library, teaching myself how to use new software. It was a completely new world for me, filled with endless possibilities and challenges. The hustle and bustle of the city life was overwhelming at first, but I knew that if I wanted to succeed, I had to embrace it. I had to immerse myself in this new environment and make the most of the resources available to me. I had to keep up, to stay ahead of the curve. It was tough. There were times when I felt like giving up, going back to the simplicity of country life. The quiet, the familiarity, the ease of it all seemed so tempting. But I knew that growth comes from pushing through the hard times. I reminded myself that every challenge I faced was an opportunity to learn and grow. The frustration, the late nights, the moments of doubt were all part of the journey. They were the stepping stones to my success. But I had come too far to quit now. I had a dream, and I was determined to make it a reality. Besides, I was starting to find a sense of satisfaction in overcoming these challenges. Each small victory, each new skill mastered, each problem solved gave me a sense of accomplishment. It was a reminder that I was capable, 
that I was resilient. The city was no longer just a place of struggle, but a place of opportunity. A place where I could build my future, in proving to myself that I could make it in this city, that I was tougher than I thought. The confidence I gained from each success fueled my determination to keep going. I started to see the city not as an adversary, but as a partner in my journey. It was a place that tested me, but also a place that rewarded my efforts. I realized that the challenges I faced were shaping me into a stronger, more capable person. It's not easy, but you're doing great. Every new skill you learn brings you one step closer to your goal. Remember, perseverance is key. Keep pushing forward even when it feels impossible. Every effort you make, every hour you spend learning and growing is an investment in your future. You are building a foundation for success, one step at a time. Stay focused, stay determined, and never lose sight of your dreams. The journey may be tough, but the rewards are worth it. You have the strength and the ability to overcome any obstacle. Believe in yourself and keep moving forward. The city was full of strangers, millions of them, and yet it could feel incredibly lonely. The hustle and bustle, the constant movement, it was all so different from what I was used to. The noise, the lights, the sheer scale of it all, it was overwhelming. Back home, everyone knew your name. There was a sense of familiarity, a sense of comfort. Here, you were just another face in the crowd, lost in the sea of people. It was a stark contrast to the small town life I had left behind. I missed my family, my friends, the sense of community that came with small town life, the Sunday barbecues, the impromptu gatherings, the shared laughter and tears. It was a tight-knit community where everyone looked out for each other. I missed the familiar faces, the easy conversations, the feeling of belonging, the local diner where everyone knew your order, the friendly waves from neighbors as you walked down the street. It was a place where you felt seen and valued. But slowly I started to build a new life. It wasn't easy, but I knew I had to try. I began to explore the city to find my own little corners where I could feel at home. I started to reach out, to make connections. I made friends with my co-workers. We'd go out for drinks after work, sharing stories and blowing off steam. It was a small step, but it made a big difference. I began to feel less like an outsider and more like a part of something. I joined a book club, a hiking group, anything to connect with people who shared my interests. These activities gave me a sense of purpose, a reason to look forward to the weekend. I started to find my tribe, people who understood me. It wasn't the same as back home, but it was a start. I realized that building a new life takes time and effort. It requires patience and resilience. But with each new connection, each new experience, I felt a little less alone. Hey, it's great to have you join us. The city can be a tough place to navigate, but it's also full of potential. Every person you meet has a story, a background, a reason for being here. You know, this city can be overwhelming, but it's also full of opportunities to meet amazing people. There are so many events, so many groups, so many chances to connect. You just have to be open to them. Just give it some time. The city has a way of growing on you. Before you know it, you'll find your place, your people, and it won't feel so lonely anymore. It will start to feel like home. The city was a melting pot of cultures, a kaleidoscope of languages, cuisines, and customs. It was fascinating and disorienting all at once. I'd never experienced anything like it. Back home, life was simple, predictable. Here, every day was an adventure. I tried new foods, listened to different kinds of music, learned about customs and traditions from all over the world. It was an education unlike any I'd ever had. It opened my eyes to a world beyond my small town upbringing. It challenged my assumptions, broadened my horizons, and made me a more tolerant and understanding person. Life in the city was a roller coaster. Full of ups and downs, there were triumphs. Like the day I finally landed a good job in my field. The day I moved out of my dingy room and into a decent apartment. And there were tribulations. Times when I felt lost, defeated, when I missed home so much it ached, when the city felt like it was going to swallow me whole. But I learned to ride the waves, to take the good with the bad, to celebrate the victories and learn from the setbacks. It was all part of the journey. I built a life for myself in the city, a good life. I had a challenging job that I enjoyed, a comfortable apartment that I shared with friends. I had a social life, hobbies, and a sense of purpose. I wasn't the same naive country boy who had stepped off the bus all those years ago. The city had changed me, toughened me up, made me more resilient, resourceful, and independent. I had learned to thrive in the concrete jungle, to navigate its complexities, embrace its diversity, and appreciate its unique beauty. The city lights, once so intimidating, now twinkled with promise. 
I never forgot where I came from. I went back home to visit whenever I could. It was always good to be back, to breathe in the fresh air, to see the familiar faces of family and friends, to escape the noise and chaos of the city for a while. But something was different now. I noticed things I hadn't before. The slow pace of life, the lack of opportunity, the narrow-mindedness that sometimes permeated small-town life. I realized that I had outgrown my hometown, that while I would always cherish my roots, my future lay elsewhere. The city was where I belonged now. I had come a long way from the wide-eyed country boy who had first set foot in the city. I had achieved many of my goals, but I was still ambitious. I had dreams, big dreams. I wanted to start my own business, to make a real difference in the world, to leave my mark on the city that had become my home. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I wasn't afraid of hard work. I had learned that anything was possible if you were willing to fight for it. The city had taught me that. And as I looked ahead to the future, I couldn't help but smile. The country boy had found his place in the big city and he was just getting started.